Now, my next guest says the $2 billion that BP has spent to reimburse businesses and individuals hurt by the oil catastrophe is a good down payment. Jeffrey Reklinski is professor at Cornell University Law School. Professor Reklinski also has a doctorate in psychology. Now, uh, Professor Reklinski, from a legal and public relations standpoint, how is BP's response playing out? Well, they're getting better. Uh, the $20 billion that they've now set aside to pay for uh, economic losses and the $2 billion they've already spent uh, on cleanup is uh, a, a win for everybody. It, it suggests to the people who are uh, injured that the, the money's really going to be there to compensate them if they've got, uh, suffered some loss in their business. It's a win for the Obama administration because they, they can look tough, like they're really going to extract uh, these claims from uh, from BP. And it's a real win. For, it's a good move for BP because it reassures their investors that they're a strong, solvent company that can set aside as much as $20 billion to cover these claims. Professor Reklinski, what is the biggest issue facing the oil companies, not just BP, right now? Well, right now, this moratorium uh, and the, the Judge uh, Martin Feldman's uh, lifting the moratorium is a really very interesting issue. Uh, one third of the United States domestic oil production comes from the Gulf of Mexico. And this six month freeze on drilling, uh, that has had a sizable effect on uh, oil exploration and uh, the oil companies that, uh, outside of BP. Professor Reklinski, do you think the Obama administration will prevail? It's hard to know, but they should prevail. Uh, because, in fact, the, uh, the Department of Interior is allowed to put a moratorium of this type uh, on this kind of activity if they think there's an imminent danger to the public. And certainly the Deepwater Horizon uh, uh, disaster has shown us that the oil companies don't have a plan for dealing with a spill of this type. That's surely an imminent danger. That's not the argument the government made uh, in, in the initial uh, case at, in, in front of the district court, but it's certainly an argument they should make. All right, Professor Jeffrey Raklinski uh, joining us as a professor of law at Cornell University Law School. Thank you very much. Now